Good morning, Scott. Morning, Neil. Uh, Swedish volunteers cut the use uh, variations this time. We're in uh, Na Natala, Finland, June 21st, 1944. Uh -uh. Natala. -uh there you go. In June. No snow. Swedish volunteers, which is not odd, but a little uh, out of the normal, I guess. Playing a scenario with either Swedes or Finns, and there's no snow. So I am playing the Swedes. Um, I forget if I think I picked the Swedes because I yeah I lost the previous scenario. I think I picked yeah. the Swedes. Uh, my advantages are battalion OBA is always nice because you, you get the bonus on radio contact. Um, uh, I have a higher morale value. I think my units are elite. They have morale of eight for the most part, um, and I get it set up concealed. Um, regard you start on board but i get it set up concealed i think regardless of terrain disadvantage is not right. much of a disadvantage i mean i have high ground that's kind of an advantage to disadvantages i only have seven squads but that's probably not that much of a dis disadvantage i couldn't really come up with much and then war balance uh maybe slightly towards the swedes but there's only nine playing so it's kind of a wash Uh, yeah, for the Russians, uh, I lost the screen, but it's uh, Rocket LBA, one of the advantages, and it's also one of the disadvantages, <laughs> as, as we'll see. But <laughs> um, you have terrain, the disadvantage, I think was listed, goalies. You have to get across goalies either any way you come, I think. Yeah, you look at the map and it looks pretty unassuming, but trying to actually trying to cross it, yeah, you don't have a lot of time. And the gullies, trying to cross the gullies takes time. And the hill, and double. I think I'm open ground. Yeah, double crests are a pain in the ass because you have to get up the hill. Yeah. Yeah. So I think terrain, yeah, was a big challenge for you in this scenario. Um. As far as my defensive setup, uh, you get an initial module of uh, 200 millimeter, which is 36 firepower uh, rocket OBA. So I made sure I tried to spread out as much as I could on the hill and to try to cover approach avenues as much as I could. I didn't think you'd come from the left side on the board here and have to go through that gully. I thought you'd come up um, either through the center and or on the right side um, approaching the hill. But I spread out mostly to avoid your rocket OB OBA, which really could have done some damage on me um, from the get-go if, if you got a hit. Yeah. Uh, as far as my attack plan, I mean, I had to set up on or behind that uh, red dotted line there. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I just had a hard time coming up with a definite attack plan. I, uh, the, probably the best approach is just kind of straight up the middle. You got uh, the woods for covering, but then I got to take into account your OBA and air bursts. And I, I knew I had to keep kind of spread out, or at least I wanted to try and stay spread out. So I was going to bring probably about half the force up through the middle, and then the other half. Uh, down along the right side of the board, the south side, mm -hmm. and then get up onto the hill. Yeah. Uh, in the end, I just kind of threw everything up the middle, and uh, we'll see how that turned out. Yeah. There's a lot of a uh, fair amount of open ground to cover. My radio is in t on top of the hill there in N4 on the right side of the hill. Here you're starting off with your rocket OBA. Which I was scared, yeah, and we kinda, scared shitless of, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> well, I think we screwed up. We screwed up the extent of error. Uh, I think I rolled a six for extent of error. And it landed just basically down on in the woods there. Yeah. But, fires. I th but I don't think the... I remember looking at it after <clears> we played. I don't think it would have changed. I think it might have clipped my radio guy. I think that's it. Yeah. If we had, If we put it uh, back a little bit, so I don't think it would have much of an effect. 
Uh, you got you yeah, started really... a flame. That's about it. Yeah. Yeah, I was really hoping I could would uh, because you were pretty sp- pretty well spread out, but I was hoping I'd catch uh, one or two, mm-hmm. maybe soften up a spot in your line that I could uh, take advantage of, but no. Yeah. That's that's the the curse of uh, Rocket OBA. It just kind of lands where it lands. Yeah. Yeah. So now I'm just taking off, trying to use as much cover as I can. Mm-hmm. It's hard to avoid uh, find cover when you, you're running against guys on a level four hill, unless you're you know right behind a woods or obstacle. Yeah, and I was hoping uh, some of you guys on your right flank there might be dummies, but I think as it turned out, they were all all had real units in them. Yeah, I was mostly biased to the center and right because I didn't think you would come in from the left. So I think I had one yeah. squad on the left. That was it. And I had a, I had a, I think a half squad in M2 uh, at crest status. Just if you made it up into the woods, just to keep you honest um, at there, at least delay you, if anything. Because I, di- I didn't want to set too far forward. I had to stay on the lower board, but I didn't want to set up most of my guys. I could have set up a bunch in crest status, but if I needed to withdraw and get out and get up the hill, I'd, I would have been treading water, trying to get out of there. So I didn't do that. Yeah, I had a kind of a hard time getting much of anything going in this game. I kind of just tried to keep moving, but uh, I had my medium machine gun set up. I think it's back in 05? Yeah, 03. And, uh, but you kept, I mean, you kept most of your guys concealed. And when I did get a shot at you, um, just couldn't get a result. And then I ended up, it ended up breaking, malfunctioning, and It was, I just couldn't really, yeah, it was hard to get, uh, to soften your guys up, really. I never did have any success at that. Yeah, and I didn't, all I had was either elevation or woods. So most of my terrain effect modifier was plus one for most of your shots, but you really couldn't soften anything up. Yeah, and the OBA, we just kept rolling for the OBAs if we starting fire in the woods there, and, we, but... and we did some of this stuff does spread which would have been, yeah. been problematic for you if you were if you made that right hook approach you were talking about right. and tried to come up through the woods mm-hmm. i think most of it would have been on fire by then so i yeah i, sh- I just the reason go ahead I, I guess the reason i the reason i gave up on that was i just really started looking at it and how long it would take mm-hmm. to do that right hook it's like I just don't think there's enough time. So, yeah, because you're moving up through elevation and through woods, it could be really slow. And you get uh, what do you get? Turn three, you get a infantry gun and a big mortar. Suddenly shows up right on the on the board. So I shifted some units over, and I f- one of those is our dummies, but I'm starting to shift them over to the center. Uh, yeah, I end up. I just end up with uh, about this time here, pretty quick. I end up with just a bunch of broken guys, and uh, don't I lose a leader? Uh, I but, think uh, so. No, was there a sniper get a leader or something? Yeah, I think, I think you did. So. Well, I think you. I think I got a KIA in O two. I think you moved some guys out in that hex because there's a light machine gun laying in the open. I think I killed something there. And I, and I screwed up my radio. I forgot to roll for contact and battery access first turn and you had a bunch of guys kind of in the open there you know around our three mm-hmm. area so i didn't i don't even get my uh, oba fired here it comes now i don't get my oba fired up until you know later than i should have 
because I brain farted. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, and like I said, I mean, I I knew in the back of my head, I mean, I knew I had to, you know, not bunch up, not bunch my guys up because of your OBA, but then I ended up just getting bunched up anyway. Mm-hmm. So, run. this is a short scenario, too. You have to do this in five turns. Get across yeah. that ground and get through a gully and get up a hill with double crest. That's need to be moving. Well, yeah, that's kind of what I, my, yeah, was just to keep moving. And I mean, I start with 14 squads, but uh, I don't know. It just, it kind of all starts to fall apart here pretty quick. Mm-hmm. You uh, corrected your OBA and you got some good rolls. And that pretty much end of the game. I mean, we're only on turn two, I guess, but Yeah, I think I correct into that opening, into the clearing there, kind of, in the center, and then later, yeah, there I'm correcting. And then later I correct it into the woods and get a good result, too, which kind of, I think that's where you threw in the towel later. OBA kind of crunched you up in the woods. Yeah. Well, and the other problem with the, with the Russians, you know, the first line squads, uh, once they ELR, they're conscripts. Mm-hmm. And God, at that point, it's like, ugh. Yeah, we both had ELR level four in this scenario. So, yeah, I'm concentrating my units now, just more central on the hill to build up a defense. Their medium just broke, yeah. You have a big stack of broken guys in R4. Mm-hmm. Jeez. Yeah, I've got too many. I've got four broken squad squads there. Three of them stacked with the leader, and then there was no room, so the other one's next to him. But got some more broken guys in the woods. Mm-hmm. Hill's starting on fire. <laughs> you were, yeah, I think you were getting a little. You were starting to get a little nervous. Yeah, there, I'm like, I need guys. to back off here. <laughs> You're starting to bug out. <laughs> oh, here comes your uh, mortar and infantry gun. Which... Yeah, I screwed up here. I screwed up here too. Yeah, I should have fired smoke. I should have tried to smoke you. Yeah, you had your. Mm-hmm. Uh, instead, I fired HE. Yeah, they both which... had oh. smoke eight. Yeah. Yeah, I... that was that was a mistake. Another mistake. You were part. going for blood. Yeah, I was. I was trying to, like, well, I need to break something. I just couldn't break anything. It's like, I need to get going. I need to, you know, disrupt you somehow. But, I, you know, smoking you probably would have been just as good, maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got one unit into the gully. And that 527 there. But look at look at where he, he has to go. He has to go up uh, elevation through woods. Out of the crest or out of the gully, it's just that yeah. takes up. That, that was like a turn right there, and then they got broke because I fired at them. Yeah, but so now we're yeah, it's the end of my turn three basically. I've got two more turns left to try to get to the top of the hill. It's it's yeah, yeah it's just a lot harder than it looks. And I think this is what broke broke your back right here. I got a KIA on my yep. my corrected yeah. artillery, and you're like, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, there's no way you could well, you could make it now. Well, no, look at it now. Everything's broke. Yeah. yeah, it's either dead or broke, and too far away. Yeah, the amount of time. Still two turns, but there's no way. That's a lot no. to get to that level four. It's and all of I think all of my units are in good order around the hill, and you have to, you have to get up. There's no way at that point. So I think this is another case of a small dicey scenario. Yeah. Kind of goes one way or the other. Yeah. I mean, I can see the Russians winning, uh, but they need to have, it's, well, you got to have people, you always need a little luck, but yeah, you'd have to, the OBA, Mm -hmm. the rocket OBA would have to do some damage. Mm -hmm. 
you got to get across some of the open ground. Hopefully, you get lucky. And... Yeah, but dealing with those gullies, what a pain. Yeah. Yeah, the train, it's, it's a lot it's a lot uh, gnarlier than it looks. Yeah. But... Uh, dice were pretty even. I mean, we only played three turns. Up by the halfway point, it was pretty even, and then I got hot towards the end. Sort of breaking a bunch of stuff. Got some KIAs. So I, I had the hot or dice in the limited amount of rolls we had. You had 101 rolls. A lot of those were just seeing if you set blew up woods and set them on fire. <laughs> right. Yeah. Kind of skewed the results. Yeah, there. probably skewed it a little bit. That was fun. It's always fun. Yeah. Always fun. Always a learning experience. Because this is... <laughs> Uh, just, uh, this was the first OBA scenario we played since graduating from starter kit. So, yeah. Was next, it? I believe so. Lee's Charge, which oh. is what we're playing next, was our second, uh, OBA foray back into OBA, if I recall. Yeah. Yeah, so next, the next video is Lee's Charge, um... Battle of the Bulge scenario with deep snow, which should be fun. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> you say that every time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you then. All right, later.